Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, General Hospital. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. How did General Hospital reintroduce Jason? Here's exactly what went down. Ever since the Attention Getting promo, launched at the end of General Hospital's primetime anniversary special, revealing that Steve Burton was returning as Jason, the speculation has run rampant. How, fans have wondered, will Stone Cold return from the dead this time? General Hospital's Josh Kelly pays a co-star the ultimate compliment. That was just one of the questions being asked. Among the others, will Burton be playing Jason Morgan or Jason Quartermain? Will he fight Dante for Sam, Finn for Elizabeth or perhaps pursue someone entirely new? Where has the character been since that supposedly fatal tunnel collapse? And perhaps the biggest question of all, will his latest resurrection prove more successful than the last? Because it feels safe to say that a lot of what went down during the patient 6 slash Drew slash Jason storyline was kinda disastrous. We finally began to get answers in the episode which aired on Monday, March 4, which was Burton's first air date. To be honest, we assumed that while this had been leaked as his first official day back, he might actually appear in the final seconds of Friday's episode. After all, what better cliffhanger could there be? Instead, Jason's first appearance took place on Monday, but the show definitely didn't keep us waiting. In fact, only a few moments in, we got our first look at Stone Cold as he and another man took aim upon Sonny and Selena, only to have their attempted hit interrupted by the arrival of John, Anna, Dant, and Chase. Quicker than you can say, duck. Shots rang out, but because Jason bumped the arm of the mystery man, nobody was hit, leaving us to wonder if it was an accident or did Jason deliberately save Sonny's life. Dan took off in pursuit of the shooter, eventually discovering that the man was Jason. Just then, however, the other man would be assassin returned and shot Dan point blank, ordering Jason, whom he called Jacobs, to lead the felt cop. Soon after, Jason told his fellow assassin that he should head to the extraction point. The man agreed, only to then make it clear he was about to shoot Jacobs in the back. Instead, as if they were going to kill Jason on his first day back, although that would have been amusing, Jason managed to take out his partner with one shot. There was, of course, plenty of other action, including Heather trying to escape and a health crisis for little Ace all of which is detailed in our full recap of the episode. But for now, hit the comments and let us know what you thought of Burton's first episode back. Check out all the times that General Hospital's Jason has cheated death in the photo pack gallery below. General Hospital's Steve Burton reveals we're not getting the Jason return he signed up for. There's been a whole lot of ink spilled speculating on Jason's General Hospital return. From the fans to, well, us. We've all got theories and we've all done our best to follow the clues that the show's laid out for us. Heck, we even did our best to see if the first look photo of his return could reveal anything. General Hospital's Josh Kelly pays a co-star the ultimate compliment. Now though, we're on the cusp of getting our answers, though it sounds like they're answers that we almost didn't get. When Steve Burton spoke with Soap Opera Digest about his return, he explained that the story they're about to tell isn't what was originally planned. As he was being brought back, and the circumstances of his return were being worked out, he explained, there was a head writer switch. So apparently there was a whole different story planned and then the head writer switch happened, and then they Patrick kind of Mulcahy rebooted was brought in, as we know, and longtime General Hospital scribe Elizabeth Court was promoted to co-head writer. Mulcahy's daytime writing career has been extensive, and Nancy Lee Grant is still singing praises about his work on Santa Barbara. But Burton admits he only knew him a little coming back. As for Court, though, the actor shared that there's no one in the building that loves that show, knows the history of the character, and is invested in it 100% than Elizabeth. There has never been a more deserved promotion, ever. And knowing that she was one of the people working out Jason's return, that was all he needed. I was like, Oh, this is gonna be good. I cannot wait. And it has been exactly that. Everything has been amazing. He didn't share any details about what might have been planned, though. As for what the story that brings Jason back entails, 
Burton's just enjoyed everyone trying to figure it out. I love how invested people are in this, he shared to Digest. I happened to talk to a fan and she was like, so, this is what it is. You're doing this, then this happens. I go, hey, guess what? None of that is right. So, watch March 4th. Well, March 4th is finally here, so I guess we're about to get our answers. Take a look at our photo gallery of what's next for Jason after his return. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.